William had a question here that uh, happens a lot whenever we're doing what we do here. He says uh, he was scouting, and he essentially bumped a mature buck. He probably smelled him. He said um, he didn't didn't see me, but he took off crashing, and also he also walked the area pretty heavy and then left it alone for two weeks now. He's like, do you think I have a chance still on that buck? You always got a chance. Maybe you should hunt someplace else though, because you crashed him out of there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he said, "Well, I think I'll be honest with you, uh, William. I'll, I'll say this, Jan, and then you can go ahead. But like, I think maybe uh, waiting two weeks was probably not a good idea. I'd probably have sat there right away, um, and then maybe you could wait two weeks. But especially if you walked around in there, yeah, because then you get scent all over the place, and then he comes back and he smells that, and you might even bed this bed there the day he smells you. It was going to be in the back of his mind." Kind of like uh, I've uh, walked through an area and watched a big buck walk across my scent trail. You know, watch him walk through there like three days in a row. And the fourth day he walks through and walks across my scent trail. And you never see him again. Yeah. Doesn't show much reaction, but he knows what he smelled. You know, um, there is a chance that that deer is one of those deer that has an attitude. And he just comes right back in there and doesn't care that you were there. I've yeah. seen that many times. Um, but there's also a chance that he comes, he comes back and he smells the true there and he doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's probably likely, but if it were me and I was going out there to hunt, my first hunt would be right where you saw that buck and I'd give it a shot. Yep. But I would not dwell on that. I'd give it one try. Mm -hmm. You don't, if he's not there. He's probably not there because he smelled you and all that that grief. Yeah. Matter of fact, even if he even if it didn't bother him, um, a lot of these bedding areas have like a you know, unless you're into winter mode where they're really stuck on a food source, they have about a week or two peak time from when that buck's there and they move to another bedding area. So I mean, really like Josh said, hunting it right away again before they have a chance to move on is probably the best yep hey everybody if you like the channel make sure you subscribe right here and if you like the clips i got two more options for you two options right here subscribe right here see you guys